This video is sponsored by CI Hub. Hi, I'm Chris Converse, and for my 3 Minutes Max tip, I'm going to show you how you can create a complex animation in Photoshop using smart objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and show this layer over here called Center Orange, which is the middle that I've cut out of one of these oranges. So I'm going to move this down into a layer group that I've already created, where I've cut out all of these individual shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up right here. Then I'm going to come up to the window menu, come down and open my timeline panel. And what I want to do is create an animation. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if the orange insides, which kind of look like bicycle wheels, actually were rotating. It'd be kind of a really cool uh, image to create here. So in the timeline panel, I'll come down and create a new video timeline. And immediately I can see all of the layers in my layers panel become tracks. So here is my citrus center mask. And here is my citrus orange center. Since this is a smart object, and it is linked by the way, I can come in here and actually animate the transform properties. So I'm going to come in here and activate transform by clicking the stopwatch. I'm going to come all the way to the end of my timeline at 5 seconds. Click this item here to create another keyframe. Then I'm going to bring the plate back to the center. So at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Right here. And what I'm going to do is hit Command or Control T to transform. And I'm going to transform this 180 degrees over to here. I'm going to press return to commit the transform. Now I can slide the timeline panel. We can see that the orange will slide, or rather rotate, one full circle, 360 degrees. Now, in order to create multiple copies of this, what I'm going to do is instead of simply duplicating this layer, which would also duplicate all my keyframes, I'm going to come over here to the Layers panel, right-click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now what happens if I drag my timeline panel, notice that the entire animation still plays even though I have no keyframes here. Now I can come over here, hit Command and Control J, duplicate that layer. Let's move this up to here. Now one thing you'll notice if I animate this around is you can actually see the corners of one shape inside of another. Since this is now a smart object, I can come in here, create a layer mask, and I can come in here and paint out this shape. The mask will not animate because the smart object has the animation inside of it. I'm also going to come up here to the Edit menu, come down and choose Transform flip horizontal, and I'm also going to hit Command or Control L to bring up my levels, and I'll just change the color here just a little bit, just to make that a little bit darker. Click OK, come over here, play this, and since I did a flip horizontal, I can get both of these pieces of artwork animating in two different rotations. Now I can come in here and simply duplicate all of these individual layers, and as a final project, I would end up with something like this, and get a really complex animation where all of the keyframes are contained within my individual smart objects. And so with that, um, I hope you try this out and see what you can start animating inside of Photoshop.